Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Another day and another good read aloud. Hello. All right. So, do you want to talk about what we're going to talk about? Sure. Okay. I'll talk about what we're going to talk about. going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Everyone, today we're talking about characters. Characters. Awesome. So, friends, you guys know rule number five. Don't just watch participate. We don't have that rule, but that's a really cool rule. That's our rule in Miss B's classroom is don't just watch. So don't just watch me, Miss K. Make sure you are participating with us. And So so if we say, like, make a funny face at home, what do you do? Make a funny face, right? Just, like, do it with the video. Act like we can see you and you're making it with us. Totally. Participate. All right. So we're going to talk about characters today. And when I say characters, I go like this characters and then I kind of do a cool shout like this who's in the story characters who's in the story characters who's in the story characters awesome so everyone one more time characters characters so in a story there could be people they could be talking animals they can be talking spoons I'm looking at a book scissors. I have. Talking, talking scissors talking scissors do it hello hello how are you today that might be a character <laughs> characters could be anything so Today we're going to be reading, do you want to debut our book? A gold star for Zog. Now wait, who do you think Zog is? I've never heard of a kid named Zog, maybe somewhere in the world. I don't see any kids on the cover. So take take a minute, check it out. Who do you think is Zog? And who do you think maybe are the characters? Who's in the story? I think it's going to be about, maybe it's like a type of dragon. I was going to say dinosaur, but now I see those wings, Miss V. Mm-hmm. I'm noticing, too. Wait, I also take a look at that character in the middle. Sorry, Miss Revort. I see, like, a Band-Aid on his arm. I wonder what that is. So, disclaimer, which means, like, <clears throat> just so you know, I've never read this book before. Miss V picked our book out today, and she was like, Miss Kay, it's going to be good. Just trust me. So, I'm trusting her, and we're going to read it together for the first time. So look again, he's got a Band-Aid on, and I wonder what that Band-Aid is. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's go for it. A Gold Star for Zog, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrations by Axel Scheffler. Cover page, A Gold Star for Zog. Madden Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. So look, they're at dragon school, friends. Dragon school. Oh, I, oh, I see the gold stars. They're right by the teacher. Can you show the chalkboard, Miss Let's Kay? see. They're learning as dragons how to eat insects. That's what they're learning Wait, at school. Wait, look at that dragon tongue. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> cool. I wonder why she gives someone a gold star. Is it for the kid who didn't listen all day? Or is it for the kid who was the best listener? I don't know. Mm. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madame Dragon, way up in the sky. <laughs> Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped and looped. Then crashed into a tree. Let's bring that in. So he tried his best, but bleh. Ooh, Crash. it scared me, Miss K. Sorry. You gotta Trying warn to me. Dramatic. <laughs> Wait, look at this kid. I'm sorry. Whoa. <laughs> he didn't even make it as high as Zog. He went, bloop, blop. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky bandage for your head. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew his band-aid gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. Oh, so the band-aid came from the little girl. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, do we know some of the characters of the story so far? <gasps> characters. Who's in the story? Characters. Who's in the story? Can you name a character so far? Who's in the story? Call it out at home, and then I'll... <laughs> 
All right, well, I'm gonna answer now. I'm noticing that this little girl is one of the characters. She was pretty important, she gave him a Band-Aid, and now I know that she lives somewhere in that forest. Who else is a character, Miss V? Um, I think Zog is a pretty important character. He's been on mm -hmm. every page so far. That's a good point. He mm -hmm. must be pretty important then. Every single page, and we keep saying his name. Zog. A year went by, and in, a, and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. More, said Madame Dragon. Louder, I implore. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll be all champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Mm -hmm. So Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end. But then, his throat grew hoarse. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, everyone, check him out. I want you to gag like he's gagging it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, next page. All right, Thank moving you on. Coughing in my face. <laughs> just then, <gasps> girl came by again. She said, what rotten luck. Perhaps you'd like a nice soothing peppermint to suck? What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew and breathing fumes of peppermint as he zigzagged through the blue. Oh, he's got fresh breath. Oh, super fresh yeah, breath. Super fresh. Look at that. Fresh breath. And look at the little girl. Wow. She's really nice. She's super nice. Very handy. Mm hmm A year went by, and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madame Dragon. Breathe out fire, not snow. <laughs> now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. So Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph. And his wingtip caught a light. Oh, man. So he was doing good. Look, he's so happy there. He's like, I can do it. Oh, maybe. Uh, ah, ah, <laughs> nuggets. He got himself. All right. I love when Miss K says nuggets. Nuggets. Miss K's kids, you'll hear it a bunch of times. I know. <laughs> My kids who had me last week, or this week, slash last week, you, you guys know already. All right. Just then the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing. Perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing? What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. <gasps> hey friends, I'm noticing something. Every time we see the girl, because you remember it's year one, year two, year three, he's like in third grade now, and look, she's getting older too. I kind of like that you notice that she's getting older. Our character is getting older. It's true. Mm -hmm. Good noticing this day. Thank you. All the year four dragons were learning. Can you guess? I know. Yes, said Madame Dragon. How to capture the princess. Oh, oh sorry. A duck just came in the room. <laughs> A duck just walked in. So. Hello, duck. Um, now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Oh no. Guys, who's possibly a princess? Who is he gonna have to capture? I'm just thinking, is that little girl a princess, Mr. Report? I thought you didn't read the book. I, I didn't, I'm, I'm making a prediction. <laughs> She's just thinking about it? I didn't even, the first time I read the book, I didn't catch that, but we'll find well, out. I'm just a little nervous. Wait, can we show them this illustration? Yeah, zoom in. Check that out right there. They're showing how to capture a princess because that's what dragons do is they capture princesses. And look, there's Zog. He's having a good time capturing these fake little princesses. Okay. Miss Kay's taking a water break. I did take a sip. <laughs> Come I'm on. Talking. Come on. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't mm. manage. I'm not good at this, he cried. Oh my gosh, look at him try to take a princess. He's like, Come on! <laughs> I'll never win a golden star. Just then he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me. What? I'm Princess Pearl. Who offers himself up to be captured? 
Well, she knows that Zog's a cool guy. So. I guess too long. Okay. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. Oh my gosh. The easiest capture Zog could have ever have asked for. I wonder if he'll get a golden star, Miss Kay. Maybe. This this did work out well. He's so happy at his love is like he's like, yeah. Yeah, I think Princess Pearl's having a good time too. Look at her. That's She's true. Like, Wee! I'm on a dragon. I guess many people don't get to fly on dragons like that. No. <gasps> ah! Said Madame Dragon. Our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear! You've won a golden star. Yay! Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures, and she nursed them when they fell. Oh, so this is working out really nicely, you guys. Not only was she taken, but now she's able to help all the dragons and not just Zog. So she's like, I, I can do this. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very cool. A year went by, and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Oh. Right, said, right, said Madam Dragon. Here comes a real live knight. Up spoke the knight. My name, he said, is Gadabout the Great. Oh. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Uh -oh. Does she need to be rescued, you guys? Yeah, look at her face. Does she need to be rescued? Uh, hmm. She's having a good time, I think. Her, she looks pretty good to me. Yeah. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't! She's mine! He roared. Oh, no, she's not. He yelled, got about? Is that the thing? Got about? Sure. And waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? Sir got about? Or Zog? Hmm. Who's gonna win? There's Princess Pearl. I think she wants Zog to win. Maybe she wants to go home though. Maybe she does want to go home. Hmm. But I think they would let her if she just asked That's true. politely. <gasps> the Princess Pearl stepped forward crying, stop! You silly chumps. The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I won't go back to being a princess and prancing around the palace in a silly, frilly, frilly dress. I want to be a doctor. Oh, that's why she's helping. And travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too, exclaimed the knight and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather be a nice, I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. Do you guys know the stethoscope that um, a doctor uses? And they put it on your chest and your back. Mm -hmm. and they listen. Check out that mustache. I was I was very much looking at that. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied, "Of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse." That's Wait, I think next. a new character arrived. Do you guys know who that new character is? Character. Who's in the story? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. That's what you were supposed to do. Who's in the story? Character! <laughs> then Zog said, Flying doctors! I'd love to join the crew! If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you! Bravo! said Madam Dragon. An excellent career! And all year five dragons gave a loud, resounding cheer! Hey! Yay! Then Madame Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. Oh my gosh, Miss Kay, everything's working out. Everything's working out perfectly. So Zog will be in the new carrier of the doctors and the donkey will now switch over as a <laughs> class pet. <laughs> For the dragon school. I would, yeah, that's, that's very cool. And he gets right. fed a lot, so. Mm -hmm. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, the flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue. Is that the end? Can we cheer yet? Woo! Yes! Yeah! Zog, 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 Zog! Zog, 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 Princess Pearl! All right, so. Who's in the story? Characters! Who's in the story? Characters! Who was a character today. Who was your favorite character, maybe? Yeah, that'd be a good one. Do we want them to draw? I think that's character. a great idea. Yeah.
Who's your favorite character in the story? Can you draw a picture for us? And if you can, try and label. Maybe you'll just give me one mm. beginning sound. So if it's z-z-zog. What letter should we write for z z zog Or Princess Pearl. Princess Pearl. Maybe you have a different favorite character that we didn't even touch on that much because they were smaller characters, you know? Draw a picture. And try to give us that sound with it, that label. And we will see you at math. Awesome. Love you guys. Bye.